Hello friends and welcome to tonight's beer review, which I am dubbing the uh, Damn Am I Tired Beer Review. <laughs> I'm tired because I've had insomnia for a while and, uh, you know, haven't caught up yet and, um, of course, starting a new job, which requires me to wake up early and work physically, which um, is far preferable to doing office work. So, today we will be reviewing Jubil Jubilale. Jubilale. Yeah. Jubilee, 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 <laughs> which is a festive winter ale, a.k.a. a winter warmer. This is from Deschutes Brewery out of Bend, Oregon. Now, I love me some winter warmers. They really don't get distributed much here in Hawaii for various, very obvious reasons. Um, in general, it's pretty hard to find dark beer in Hawaii, <laughs> um, even in the places that do sell craft beers. But uh, winter warmers are pretty much my favorite style of dark malty um, ale. And that is because of the spice elements to it. It has a very nice spiciness to it. Now this is probably the easiest one to find. And it's very northwestern style. And you'll see what I mean in just a little bit here. Oops, see. Now I've had this warming up for a little bit. You don't want this straight out of the refrigerator. You want it to be a little bit warm. I don't think it's uh, warm enough yet. But um, it'll live. And I overdid it with the pour. Oh well. Kind of wanted to get a good head, but that's a little bit too much there. Okay. I just love this color here. It is just a wonderful nutty brown color the hints of red to it and um, translucent almost opaque but definitely still translucent The head itself is a nice uh, tannish beige color here. I probably shouldn't have packed my pipe. I can smell it on my fingers, unfortunately. What's immediately apparent is a nice little nutmeg smell to it. Move my hand down, it still stinks of tobacco. Malting breadiness. And even a very slight smokiness to it, just very slight. And floral hops, but that's some um, underneath the malts. coffee almost um, nice hints of carob as well nutmeg carob hints of coffee it's a very nice and interesting I almost want to say gingerbread, but it's not really gingerbread. It's not ginger, but it smells like something sweet baking. So I love the head on this. I love the head and, you know, I love, you know, the bouquet that most winter warmers give off. Because, I, like I said, it's got a lot of spice in it. Just the right temperature.
forgot to mention that this is 6.7 ABV. So, um, you know, it's not something you can go and knock back a six pack of, that's for sure. One or two ought to do you good. Now, what is immediately apparent when drinking this is the Northwest Hop finish. It's bitter, long, and fairly intense, which I find kind of distracting from what should be a malt showcase. That's not to say that the um, malts are weak or bad. No, it's just the hopping is really strong on this. In general, I don't like strong hopping with darker ales or darker beers in general because it tends to distract from the darker malts which have a bitter element of their own and that's just sort of overtaken by the hop bitterness and so you're kind of just left with one side being a little you know one side kind of dominating the flavor spectrum of the other That said, the hops are not unpleasantly bitter. Um, you know, it, it's not like it's bad tasting hops. I just find it distracting from the front and very difficult to suss out the front because of the hopping. And it's an incredibly long, bitter finish. It's still on my tongue. But the front, especially right immediately, has this wonderful sweet note and very almost um, like sweet horse head licorice, kind of these really earthy vegetal tones to it, um, the earth, sweet earthy vegetal tones. Sorry, I keep on looking at my hands, it's really, the smell from the tobacco on my fingers is kind of distracting to me. L let me just get onto a side note here. Um, having a wonderful, a very sensitive palate has its downsides. Um, you just, can you imagine going through life just smelling things that most people can't smell? Let's just say must, much of life out there is not filled with pleasant smells. Let me put it that way. Still so, too bitter. It's so annoying. I, I can taste all this wonderful maltiness, but it's just this hoppiness that overwhelms all the malts, you know? It's kind of like trying to listen to an album while there's like static going on. It's kind of, it, it just kind of distracts you from everything else. There's these wonderful herbal aromatic notes I can't quite place. I have to say the floral aspects of the hops actually play along well with the malts, but the IBUs is just way too high for, you know, this.
There's definitely some coffee and chocolate malts in there. Um, there should be like an espresso-like taste to it is really obscured by, you know, the hot bitterness, you know. There's like a sort of malt bitterness that should be there that's just kind of totally blasted out by the hot bitterness. Yeah, I, I don't really have much more to say on this. I don't like to pan beers, and I'm not really panning this beer because, um, you know, I think it a lot. Of, like I said, a lot of things depend on taste. This doesn't have off flavors to it. I find it unbalanced. I feel that winter warmers, winter ales, should be a malt showcase. Others may feel dif differently. And moreover, I believe that this beer has some of the best seasonal art um, for beer labels. At least for the ones that come to Hawaii. I, I've seen some really beautiful ones, but they only have like um, Midwest or East Coast distribution and they never make it to states. Um, but yeah, they, they often have Jubilale as Jubil, 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 Jubilee um, has some of the best label art. So, in summation, um, you know, I always harp about balance. This is unbalanced to me. You know, it's still a well-made beer. It's still got complexity, but the lack of balancing means that the hops just go and slap whatever's gotten whatever's in the malt. It's completely silly, and I just can't, you know, I, I just can't give a good review. That said, I'm still going to buy a six-pack every year. One, because I said, again, I love the label art. And two, because every year I hope they kind of change it and tone down the hops a little bit so I can taste those wonderful malts in there that are just being blown out right now. So, that's your beer review for tonight, folks. Cheers and season's greetings. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Um, crazy Kwanzaa, um, Zombarific Zombie Day, the whole deal. Cheers.